A lot of morning frost and cold temperatures this season. And KCAL me uh, news meteorologist Marina Jurica walks us through how frost forms dazzling works of art in this week's What on Earth. Have you ever seen frost on your windshield or window and noticed all the beautiful designs? Well, frost is a chance for nature to become an artist. Frost is the result of water vapor in the air freezing directly onto surfaces when the temperature drops below freezing. But did you know each frost crystal is unique, forming intricate patterns based on environmental conditions? As temperatures drop, water molecules slow down and arrange themselves into these stunning formations, creating what seems like in nature's own ice sculptures, from feathery, fern-like structures just like this, to sharp geometric shapes like this. Frost comes in a variety of forms, and these patterns depend on factors like humidity, temperature, and the surface structure of the objects it forms on. Now, sadly, frost doesn't last forever. When the sun rises and temperatures warm up, these delicate structures just melt away. The study of frost is called cryology, and it not only helps us understand the intricate processes of nature, but also provides insights into weather patterns and climate change. Plus, it's just simply fascinating to witness the creativity of Mother Nature firsthand. All right, here are some fun facts. Frost patterns are called frost flowers, which you can see here very nicely, and certain plants like kale and Brussels sprouts actually become sweeter after being exposed to frost. And frost can be a lifesaver in preserving food. Think about your freezer. So next time you wake up to a frosty morning, take a moment to appreciate nature's artwork, knowing that each frost crystal is a tiny masterpiece in its own right. And that's What on Earth for this week. Thanks for tuning in.